Hi everyone, this is a quick follow-up to the Introduction to Redline video that I released in early October 2017. During the recording of that video, the current version of Redline was 1.20, released in May of 2017, and depending on when you're watching this, that may still be the case. During the production of the video, I had attempted on several different occasions to analyze memory images collected with tools other than Redline, including FTK Imager, but each time I would try, I would either get errors, unexpected results, or no results at all. I reached out to FireEye to report the issue, and they were kind enough to provide me with a pre-release copy of Redline 1.20.1. Here you can see the release notes for that version. If we look on page 5 under Fixed Issues, the top bullet point is Restored the Ability to Analyze Acquired Memory Images. In this quick video, we'll take a look at the behavior with version 1.20, and then we'll try again with version 1.20.1 .1 and verify that the issue has indeed been fixed. So let's take a look. Okay, this is Redline version 1.20.0. .0. So using this version, let's go ahead and attempt to open a saved memory file. In this case, I've got a Stuxnet memory sample titled Stuxnet.vmem. So let's go ahead and open that. And we'll choose next. We'll accept the defaults for the analysis session. We'll say yes to the UAC prompt. And the first indication that something isn't right is how quickly this progresses. This should take several minutes, but instead only takes seconds. So as this finishes up, we'll go ahead and choose the proper option under start your investigation. And of course, you can already see on the left side under analysis data that there isn't much of anything shown and of course on the right side, there's just no data at all. So clearly something is not right. Under not collected, of course we don't expect any of the disk-based artifacts to have been collected since we didn't use a standard or comprehensive collector, but we do expect processes and hierarchical processes. And of course there isn't anything there. So next let's take a look at the same behavior with Redline 1.20.1 and see if the issue still persists. Okay, so this is the new version of Redline. If we go down to About, you can see this is version 1.20.1. .1. So let's go ahead and repeat the same test. Under Analyze Data, we'll choose From a Saved Memory File. We will click Browse, and we'll choose the same Stuxnet.vmem memory image. We'll click Next. We'll accept the defaults here and click OK. We'll say Yes to the UAC prompt. And now we see the familiar Create New Analysis Session window. But unlike last time, this actually ends up taking several minutes to complete, which is a good sign. I'll go ahead and speed up this portion of the video so you don't have to wait. Last time this finished in only a matter of seconds, which indicates that something probably wasn't working right. We'll go ahead and choose External Investigative Lead, and we now see processes. On the left side, if we click on Hierarchical Processes, we should see the same data in a tree-like view. And that appears to be working. If I type in LSAS here as an example, we actually see three different LSAS processes in this memory image, which is a clear indication something is very wrong. Of course, that's expected because this is Stuxnet. Under Driver Modules, data is being populated. Under Device Tree, we see data here as well. If we choose hooks, we see data here. And lastly, if we choose timeline, we see data being populated here as well. So this has apparently fixed all of the issues I was experiencing. I've actually repeated this test several different times under varying circumstances, and in each case, it's been successful. That's all I wanted to show in this quick video. As always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time.